Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dog, cats, and squirrels, or anybody who might want to listen to an old man like me. Hello, world. Hello, money. Hola, dinero. Hola, mundo. Get out of my way. I got a date with that end zone. Touchdown, Colorado. Fireworks, please. Colorado Buffalo. Buff Nation. I'm back. Standing a tall stack. I'm only 5'5". Five five. When I stand on a stack of money, I'm 6'8". <laughs> you better stop playing with me. I'm your host, Gerald Costello, a.k.a. Professor Bowtie. Only seen in my high visibility degree. You better stop playing with me. For those that know, I have a history channel over there called Snapshots of History in 60 Seconds. Hello, well, Hello, money. All right, I digress. Back to the real deal. Hey, guys, tomorrow is the big day. We're going to be playing Kansas State. And before I get started, I want you to know that we're going to have a lot of four-star four, four star and five-star recruits uh, appearing in both the Colorado, baby, to watch the Kansas State uh, and the Colorado football game. And, man, I can't wait. I mean, just think, every game, man, we have a lot of recruits coming to see Colorado and to talk to Coach Prime about their future. And I tell you, man, Coach Prime doing a great job with his team, and he's doing a great job with recruiting. Recruiting is on fire right now. And a lot of people don't see it because the chaos is going on with football. But, man, let me tell you behind the scenes, we got a lot of recruiters. I mean, a lot, a lot of recruits coming to Boulder, man, to see what we're doing over here at Boulder, Colorado. And they can see what they can do for us in the year 2025. Next year, baby. Woo-wee! All right, I'm excited, man. We're going to have, we have, of course, we don't have 300 recruits coming tomorrow. But we're going to have a lot of cream in the crop, man. Like I said, a lot of four and five stars coming to see what's going on with Colorado. All right, because, you know, we'll never have a, a seat empty when we're in Boulder, baby. <laughs> we'll never have a seat empty in Boulder. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, um, Colorado, this is what I want to say about Kansas State Preview, Colorado and Kansas State Preview. What we have to do to win, we definitely have to have a running game, guys. And uh, I tell you, when you got a running game and we already got the elite receiving core in the United States of America, we got the best receiving core in the United States of America. And you just have a little running game just to balance that receiving core. Man, we're going to have a field day tomorrow because I know one thing. If we can stop the run, Kansas State going to be in trouble, man, because they're not that really good in, 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 in the uh, receiving department. They don't have elite receivers like we do. You know, they might have a one or two receivers that's really good, but they don't have no elite receivers like Colorado do. And it's amazing, man. So we get this running game going tomorrow, and we have our defense with discipline. Stay in your gap. Stay in your lane. Keep your head down and go to work. And don't believe in the hype. You know, don't nobody believe in us already. Nobody believe in the Colorado Buffaloes. Nobody believe in us. But us. <laughs> but us. I believe. I truly believe our team going to beat the hell out of Kansas State. I really truly do. Because if we stop that running game, and we've been doing it all season, I mean, Nebraska got away with it, but I, nobody else since then. And I'm telling you, we shut down that running game, Kansas State going to be in trouble, guys. They truly going to be in trouble. And I think we got the uh, right players in the right time to shut down the running game tomorrow when uh, they come to Boulder. Believe that. Man, Chidosi, man, I look at how big this guy is in the interview. I, I thought it was big, but, man, when I looked at this guy, man, he's humongous. Ooh-wee. And, guys, do you know Thomas, number 95, and Quincy Wiggins, uh, number 92, I think, they haven't even showed they, they, they prowess yet. They haven't showed their prowess. I mean, can you imagine, man, we got a defense that can go in and out, in and out. What I mean by that, man, we rotate all our players. We just rotate. That's why we're so good at the end of the game in the fourth quarter. And we shut teams down to only seven points because we have a beautiful rotation of players that can come in all day long, man. Nobody gets tired. It's amazing, man. I can love our defense. And a lot of people don't give our defense no respect, none whatsoever. But we got a great defense. Our secondary is good. Our linebackers is good. And that defensive line is phenomenal. So I, I don't know what people see that I don't see. I, I know I wear glasses, but I ain't that doggone blind. <laughs> I ain't that blind. I see greatness on that defensive line, that front, that front seven. I see greatness, man. I really, truly do. And all they're doing is getting better and better and better every game. And uh, I'm telling you, Kansas State, you better not come in there thinking that all you have to do is show up and win. You in for a dog fight. You can believe that. You in for a dog fight. 
But I don't even think they're going to be close. That's just my humble opinion. I think the score is going to be 38-34. I'm going to keep it moving. All right. Oh, and one thing I wanted to say, too. See, when you keep a, a defense guessing, man, you you confused. And one thing I learned about confused people, confused people do nothing. Confused people do nothing. That's what I learned in life. When you are confused, confused people do nothing. Because when you're confused, what can you do? You're thinking too hard. And then we got that running game going tomorrow. Oh, my goodness, man. It's going to be another uh, sh uh, uh, beat down like we did at UCF. We went into their hometown and beat them up. And that's what going to happen with Kansas State coming to Colorado, man. I run the game, be tight tomorrow. I'm not even worried about my receiving core. We, you know they're going to be on point. <laughs> and the running game be on point, look out. Ooh, wait. All right, I digress. Let's keep it moving. All right, Coach Prime, home run higher with uh, Rob Livingston. Coach Prime hit a home run. You know he used to play baseball, too, professional baseball. At the same time, he was playing pro football. And uh, <clears throat> he hit a home run, baby. That's why I say Coach Prime. Hit a home run with a home run high with Rob Livingston and Damian Lewis and Warren Sepp. Man, them guys good. And then you got Hart, the linebacker coach. Man, stop playing with me. Oh, man, a home run high. Rob Livingston, I'm so proud of you. I love everything you're doing with my defensive uh, team. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Prime, for bringing Rob Livingston. He's a young, brilliant mind. And, uh, man, we got to make sure we keep him, Coach. I know if somebody wanted for a head coach, we got to let him go. But uh, we need to keep Rob Livingston in, in Colorado for the next three or four years. Stop playing with me. But Rob Livingston, shout out to you. A home run hire. I thank you for everything you're doing for our defense for the Colorado Buffaloes. Thank you, Coach Livingston. I digress. I got to keep it moving. All right, guys. Uh, my predictions for the game, as I said earlier, going to be 38-24. Colorado, nobody believe in us but us. Nobody believe in us but us. And I know I've probably been showing you all the hater deals and throwing it up, but I'll do that for another time. This is more important right now. All right, so we need to, again, keep our head down and go to work. Don't believe in the hype. Let's go walk behind tomorrow, go take care of business, and be 3-0 in our conference. And then we'll just worry about the next team as we go. All right, guys? All right, but you know what time it is. <laughs> Did you know? Did you information? Did you information? Did you know? All right, did you know that 2024 is shaping up to be the best Heisman race ever? And I did just my humble opinion. I've been watching a lot of Heisman races, guys. It usually be one or two players during the middle of the season. Guys, right now we still don't know who's going to win this Heisman. That's how close this thing is. We got five or six guys that's still running for this Heisman. But I'm going to be a little prejudiced. I still think my boy Shadur Sanders can win this Heisman. He definitely going to be the number one draft pick, no doubt about that, whether he win Heisman or not. But I truly hope that he can win this Heisman, man. I really do believe in him. This is my humble opinion that Shadur Sanders can still win this Heisman. But starting tomorrow, uh, showing out at Kansas State and all the rest of the games that we have left, man, it's going to be a beauty to behold. It's going to be a beauty to behold. Then I want to say... Uh, if you look up here to the left, they got Travis Hunter leading the Heisman with a plus 475. And they got Shadur with a plus 3,500. What a big gap between the two. But that's okay. Shadur can catch up. You can believe that. He can catch up. All right. So that's it for the day, guys. But, you know, before I go, to the world, you might be one person. But to that one person, you just might be their world. And people don't care how much you know until first they know how much you care. And I won't see each and every one of you at the top. I'm going to see each and every one of you over the top, along with my Colorado Buffalo. Let's get to the top of this mountain, and let's go win this doggone uh, Heisman, and let's go win this Big 12 championship, Colorado Buffaloes. I believe in you. I will always believe in you because you are truly the one this year. Let No mistake about it. I can't wait to play BYU, and I can't wait to play Kansas State. Knock them on out of the way, and uh, we head on to the Big 12 championship. And win the Big 12, we we'll drop into the playoffs. Hello, world. Hello, money. Hola, dinero. Hola, mundo. All right, Colorado Buffaloes. Uh, enjoy the game tomorrow because it's going to be a great game. I wish I can be there, but my money never long like that. I can only do two or three games a year. <laughs> well, poor old man like me. I mean, boy, I wish I could be at every game. I would be, but I can't because I don't have the money to do it like that. One day uh, it could be different. One day it could be different. I can truly probably come to all the games. One day it gonna, might going to happen. But anyway, guys. Have fun tomorrow. Enjoy the game. And uh, go Buff. And I want to say uh, touchdown Colorado.
Fireworks, please. Until next time. Man, get out of my way. I got a date with that end zone. Touchdown, Colorado. Fireworks.